As I'm not gonna lie, there's two types of hackers. Number one, yo, I just got a flipper zero. Now I'm a master hacker incognito. I go to Best Buy, they don't see me coming. I could turn off TVs, like, uh, I guess I could steal credit cards if I wanted to, but, you know, I could do all this stuff with this flipper zero. I saw it all over TikTok, so. I mean, like, you don't wanna mess with me now, so. Number two. Now, I don't really go in public, like turning off TVs, still in cards. I more use a more incognito device that people don't know about, unlike the Flipper Zero. Get this through security anywhere I want. Capture Wi-Fi packets, open garage doors. On a bigger scale, I'm not still messing around with that little good stuff, like Flipper Zero. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'm either of those. I definitely go online. I'm definitely showing all this stuff to you guys, but I'm not going out in public turning off TVs most of the time. And I am learning all this other stuff. And everyone starts somewhere if you do have a flipper zero, no one's dissing on you. I'm just saying, it's more of a beginner device, definitely, than something like this, which we're about to check out. Now, like I said at the beginning, I'm not trying to diss on anyone. If you have a flipper zero, I have a flipper zero too. And I don't really want it anymore, but since I got this baby, kind of perfect to have together. And like I said, I'm getting some new stuff in the mail that could go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So we're going to have a lot of toe-to-toes. -to Soon. My BLE shark got nano my BLE shark nano got delayed till end of July for shipping. Kickstarter. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, now this is the Lily Go tea embed C1101. Now I guess I'll change the colors because obviously you guys cannot see. So one sec. And there we go. Now the LEDs do not have to be turned on, but it is a cool feature. Now, unlike the flipper zero, you're holding something like this. They're about the same size, but not everyone within a mile's radius knows what you're holding. So everyone has a flipper zero now. And they don't even know how to use it. They don't know how to get hacking from around here. And even if they do, they're not using it responsibly. They're not figuring it out. So a team bed 21101 is a lot more secretive, easier to take with you. I could get such a good grip on this. Not gonna lie. Just like. Now these red things at the top are SMA connectors. So you just plug in your actual antennas onto there, but I took them off for video purposes. But, I mean, so with this thing, it's so much easier to use. And no, that does not make it a beginner device. It just means it's a better device. Now, unlike Flipper Zero, we have to stick a stupid ESP32 board at the top. Every time you want a Wi-Fi hack, unlike every device nowadays, I could just do that with the ESP32. This can do that. You don't have to have a board. Now, the one thing this does not have is GPIO. It has these UARTs, I think they're what they're called. Right there, so you could add extensions. But another thing, way more easier to use, instead of tapping around like this, you could just scroll around like this. It's got an actual screen that you could see with not two pixels. You could watch like a movie on this. I've seen it be done and understand what's happening because the quality is so good. And let's see, we could all this stuff we could do on here. Wi-Fi, BLE, RF, RFID, IR, FM, GPS and RF24. We're gonna try all those out. We're gonna see what's in here and decide what is better, but not today. We will leave that up for next time where we can go outside and challenge them and see what actually works better. So I suppose we could do that video tomorrow. We'll see. Like I said, I have my schedule. So when that drops, it'll be pretty fun. We'll go out into the real world and see how these stand up to each other. Till then, let's get into this. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this thing is pretty cool. So these were the antennas you could just put on the top, twist on in a few seconds, and boom like that, I'm ready to hack. Now this is the Wi-Fi antenna. I don't remember what this antenna is, maybe GP, no, not GPS, but whatever. Now it does not come with these antennas, but they're super easy to install. So let's take a look at what's actually in here. So this is a battery, lasts a long time. Uh, obviously less than Flipper Zero because it has an actual good screen on here. But I mean, that's what it's looking like. There's the ESP32 chip. There's a lot going on in here, not gonna lie. So here's the IR blaster, which is bet not IR blaster, IR whatever, which is better than Flipper because it doesn't have this huge black thing on it. And here we can actually see our RFID. That's how you scan cards. So let's try this out, see if it actually works or if Ilya got scammed, but I've already tested all this, so I don't. But another thing about this is, drum roll please, it is not $200 like Flipper Zero. You could get this for like $60 on LilyGo's website. Shipping does take a while, but so does Flipper because of all these custom things. But 
this is just a beautiful device. So let's check it out. We can start off with Wi-Fi. So we could connect Wi-Fi attacks, evil portal. I am not trying to show my Wi-Fi networks right now. But let's do evil portal. If we could do this, it could attack. Default, custom, free Wi-Fi, 7201001. And let's see, it says starting. And boom, let's see if we see a free Wi-Fi here. I was editing for you guys. Let's see if we see a free Wi-Fi on here. And there it is, free Wi-Fi. Can Wi-Fi hack? Then we select that. And I don't have any service here. But it will take us to the next step where it can seal our credentials and you won't even know. So it says no internet. You're like, yo, what the heck? And it should bring you up to a Google page. Like I said, I don't have any service right now, so we'll see. I already joined this. It already has my credentials. Um, but, no, oh my, Not to, I forgot I have to blur all this stuff. <sighs> Guys, the life of a hacker. Anyway, let's keep moving on. So it can do Wi-Fi hacking. We could do stuff from, let's see, Wi-Fi access points, attacking real Wi-Fi networks, creating our own Wi-Fi networks. We could sniff, scan host, wire guard, Bruce Gachi, which is like a Ponagachi, but I'm Bruce. So you also get a Ponagachi, but not AI. We can find other Ponagachis near us. Let's see what else is there. Config, main menu. So I'm going to go to main menu. Then we have BLE. We could act as a keyboard. We could spam. So in case you don't know what BLE spamming is. Now, it has gotten better with Wi-Fi, or worse, with the new updates on the phones. But essentially, all you have to do is tap something like this. And it does have a big antenna, so we'll see if it specifically attacks my phone. Because normally it just finds one phone to attack, most. But, let's see. So, we'll start bringing up notifications like this, that look legit, but they're actually not. And, like I said, they have started to patch this on iPhones, but Samsung, Windows, still really open to all that stuff. Oh, there's another one. <clears throat> now, that's basically what BLE does. RF is like our F keys, scan, copy. So, I mean, we could just go to scan. 315. Good thing I've got my trusty porta pack. Uh, where's my porta pack? Kind of truth. Let's see. It should be on 315. Oh, boom. So look at that. It popped up immediately when we actually use car keys. Tells us all the details on it, frequency. Then we could go to next. We could replay. So, I mean, this is a car key, and I don't have a car in my bedroom. But you can replay all that stuff, and it's pretty interesting with RF. Then we have IR, which is TVs. I already know this works. So you basically just point it. TV be gone. It can read also. So if you have your own remotes. Then FM. There's nothing in FM, sadly. GPS. Now, I think we do need a GPS module for that one. But Flipper Zero can't do that either. So can't do NRF. But neither can Flipper Zero. So, I mean, these things are pretty even then. Except this is way better. Way better for your wallet and just a cooler device altogether. So I'll leave a link down below if you want to buy something like this. But that is it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. If you want to see more content with Lilygo, I have something coming in the mail right before I leave to DC. Also, we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna make a video out of it. I'm taking all of these devices with me to DC just to make videos with you guys. So we'll see how it goes with security. That is it though. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.